Grenada's agriculture sector could benefit from digital agriculture and innovation initiatives that will support implementation activities to build capacities in the country's agri-food systems. The Global Network of Digital Agriculture Innovation Hubs and Regional E-Agriculture for the Caribbean, a post-COVID-19 mechanism to promote resilient agri-food projects, were launched by the Ministry of Agriculture and Lands, Fisheries and Cooperatives in conjunction with the Food and Agriculture Organization on March 22nd, 2023. More details from Karima Lewis. These two projects will support ongoing initiatives being implemented by the government with FAO's technical support. This work will support the strengthening of the enabling environment for the adoption of digital agriculture strategies at the national level and to establish a national digital agriculture innovation hub and program to accelerate the development and uptake of digital innovations that support farmers and the value chain actors, especially youth and women, to become more competitive. Both initiatives also include innovation, use in public-private partnerships, and result in resources being leveraged to maximize impact and strengthen the engagement and commitment of all stakeholders. The inception and work plan validation workshop for the projects was held from March 22nd to March 24th, 2023, with key stakeholders like farmers, government officials, extension officers, and private sector to get an integrated view of projects, objectives, and expected benefits. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Agriculture and Lands, Fisheries and Cooperatives, Erin Francois, is confident that the incorporation of digital technology in the agricultural sector will help in curbing the many challenges currently facing the sector. As you know, there are serious challenges that are facing the agricultural sector, right? And we know some of these challenges very well. Uh, low product quality, high input prices, lack of information on best practices, lack of market information for decision or informed decision making, high incidence of pre-alacity. We have included a component to address pre-alacity using digital technology. We, we want to go into that in that direction because we believe it can help in a significant way to help cause the incidence of high pre-elastity in Grenada. Focal points for the project and computer systems administrator in the Ministry of Agriculture, Kenton Fletcher, says the projects will bring forth the ICT innovation the sector needs. This project is trying to now get people thinking innovative ideas, also to train people in the, in the usage of digital agriculture. Take for instance, we want to help farmers do better record keeping. We, are, um, we want to um, help them in better um, managing their farms. So these are the issues we're trying to target and these are the issues we're trying to work with to get the digital agriculture to improve production so farmers can get easy access to markets. So it could be a simple exit spreadsheet just to handle your record keeping. It could be an app to let you know that this person wants this much, he's looking for this much produce at this point in time and he's willing to pay this much. Project coordinator and FAO's international value chain development expert, Vermeeran Extavor, says the initiative provides Grenada with a strategy for transforming the sector digitally and seeing the use of emerging solutions in the agriculture sector. And through that process, also find the opportunity to pilot and to begin interventions to respond to the sort of gaps in the agriculture. So we've done some scoping before and uh, using the opportunity to do introduce um, and a program such as Innovation Hubs, uh, a space where different agricultural connections can be made between different actors, be it a marketing app or be it a, a farmer registration uh, portal um, that will strengthen the services of the mental agriculture. Participants of the Inception and Work Plan Validation Workshop, President of the Grenada Network of Rural Women Producers, Theresa Marichal, says digital agriculture initiatives could make a significant difference in how things are done at Grand Rock. This project is very timely and it will make a great impact on Grand Rock and its members. 
seeing that we have a large group of members to work with, it will be able to enhance the communication system, they will be able to see the need and the importance of being digital ready for the agriculture sector. Geographic Information Systems Technician in the Ministry of Agriculture, John L. MacDonald, foresees marked improvements in the farming community with the onset of these digital agriculture projects. Once the project is implemented and with training, I think it will be very beneficial to the farmers, not only to farmers, but to the agricultural sector. Everything is like modernized with the immigration system as well as see. Now you know I think it's doing with manual with ICT you can like connect to devices and instead of you have to get up and turn on your immigration you can automatically this can be automatically done.